Greetings, my friends. Today, our favorite section of the most beautiful knockouts in the history of world boxing will delight you with another bright compilation. On May 15, 1999, Randall Bailey once again demonstrated why he was nicknamed the King of Knockouts. The experienced Mexican Carlos Gonzalez, holding the WBO title in the welterweight division, bid farewell to his precious regalia already in the first round. Bailey's perfect left hook floored Gonzalez on the spot, and the weak attempts of the champion to get up prompted the referee to rightfully stop the fight. It took the American only 41 seconds to win the championship title. On March 5, 2004, the young Carlos Quintana scored an impressive victory over the seasoned Colombian Edwin Cassiani. The Puerto Rican controlled the course of the fight, and in the third round, he vividly knocked out the veteran with a simple but precise 1-2 combination. The referee stopped the fight without even beginning the count, and Edwin remained on the canvas for a long time surrounded by concerned team members. Unbeaten southpaw looking to stay that way. Where's a left hand and follows it up? Quintana's style is to pick spots, and he picks them when it's good for him, bad for you, and that's what Quintana's doing right now. When you're finished punching, he jumps right on you. Inside work, right hand does damage, and a left hand does damage. Quintana has good instinct. He knew that he had an opportunity to pour it on. He jumped in, he poured it on, and right now he can celebrate. 46 seconds of round number two. And he on February 4th, 2017, 20-year-old Jaime Mangaya confidently passed the test against the sturdy fellow countryman Juan Macias Montiel. The young Mexican immediately took control of the match, and already in the second round, he spectacularly knocked out Montiel with a powerful right blow. On December 8, 2015, Dominican David Lemieux's fights were never boring. On October 3, 2009, the young Canadian delighted his compatriots with a swift victory over the experienced American journeyman Donnie McCrory. The intense bout, fought at a fast pace, ended already in the first round. David's hard right punch sent the American to the canvas. And after the fight resumed, the same right punch put an impressive end to the confrontation. On July 18, 2015, the undefeated Amir Imam made a serious statement by impressively defeating the experienced Ecuadorian Fernando Angulo, who had previously contended for the world title. Angulo's aggression didn't hinder the American prospect from controlling the fight landing more precise and powerful punches. And already in the fourth round, Amir brightly ended the fight, knocking out the veteran with a powerful right hook. Amateur boxing doesn't tolerate hesitation. Yeah, you know, maybe it's not the prettiest, but oh, oh good shot. what a one-two combination that sends Angulo face first to the canvas, and this fight has come to an electrifying 
the jab, the right hand. Actually, that right hand ended up kind of behind the head. But, behind the ear. Um, well, it was sort of on top of the ear, which yeah, is borderline yeah, it was legal. More of a headache or, or yeah. you just messed up your yeah. equilibrium. So it was a legal punch, but it just yeah. started to and you know what, head back. What it is, Angulo also dips to his own right. When you dip to your own right, if you don't step... On March 8th, 2024... Former two-time world champion Anthony Joshua beautifully showcased the difference between an Olympian and a novice, stylishly handling former UFC champion Francis Ngannou. After gaining his share of fame for a competitive bout with the clearly out-of-shape Tyson Fury, the Cameroonian behemoth surely saw his future in boxing in bright colors. But the textured Londoner brought his opponent down to earth in the most ruthless way. Controlling the fight confidently, Anthony already dropped the Cameroonian with a very sensitive knockdown in the first round. And in the second round, he repeated his success. Only this time, Nganu's fall was more severe. Francis bravely got up, but was brutally knocked out by Joshua's devastating right punch. An impressive performance. And it got us out cold, ladies and gentlemen. He's not even moving. But this right hand is the... On September 10th, 2021, the undefeated Ukrainian boxer Vladislav Serenko confidently passed the barrier in the face of former title contender Alexander Ustinov. The Ukrainian immediately took the initiative and already in the first round, he spectacularly knocked out the Russian giant with a powerful right punch, after which he added two more completely unnecessary blows to the already unconscious opponent. The knockout was heavy. Impressive performance by the Ukrainian talent. Тогда, но был уже, по сути говоря, в отключке, да, так или иначе. Но все-таки Сиренко решил доработать так, чтобы упал Александр. Ну и это вот была моя следующая мысль как раз, да, что может запаниковать, пропустив удар.